All right, guys, I finished the deck here. I got 50 cards plus my leader. Uh, I decided to go with Trafalgar Law because a lot of the cards in here just synergize so well with his ability. So I just decided to use him. And he's probably the best leader out of all of the three leaders. So we're going to put him right here on top. And then we are going to get ready with the deck profile. Here we go. To start off, I have four copies of the two-drop Jinbei. Um, he is a 2K, so he's automatically going into the deck uh, for counter purposes. And then his ability is works really well with Law to help clear out a lot of his a lot of the board. Um, just using the ability to drop something by 2K is very nice. So um, I decided to go with him. He is our only two drop, and there's nothing else lower. We're going to uh, take everything to the side over here. All right, next cards. I have a lot of three drops, so we're going to start off with Heat. Uh, I have four copies of him, and then I also have four copies of Wire. Um, we have Heat and Wire for pretty much the same reasons, but they have different effects. Uh, they just work really well with uh, Law's uh, bouncing ability. And uh, Heat just gives you more power, and then Wire is a blocker that cycles. So they're just both really nice things that you can pull off of Law's ability, or that you can just play and give you some help uh, with Law's ability. It just gives good synergy. Um, the next card I have here is, uh, the, to end up the three drops, is the four copies of Rush Sorrow. We have the room. Why not play a Rush card? It's a really good Rush card as well, so might as well play it. All right, next card here, we have four drops. We have a lot of them. So we're going to start off with uh, the Blocker Law. And then we're going to go into four copies of the Jean Bart. Um, they are both very good. Um, Law is for sure the best card, I think, in this entire structure deck. Uh, it's going to change the meta because it gets rid of two cards and that hurts a lot of decks. It hurts Katakuri if they're stacking up. It hurts Whitebeard when it comes back into the meta. It hurts a lot of really good decks just discarding two. Um, and it's a blocker, which is really, really nice. Um, Jean Bart is there to ramp, which is really nice, and to play off of Law's effect. Um, so it's just a really good uh, card that we get in the deck. To finish off our four drops, we have... Four copies of Shachi and Penguin, as well as four copies of Beppo. Now, both of them have really good ramp effects, especially Shachi and Penguin. And it's a 2k any, uh, counter anyway, so it's going to be going in the deck. But the main thing is, is this one is really, really good early game because you play Law's ability to bounce something. And then this comes up and basically puts you back close to where you started and then beppo is good at all times because you're most likely going to be behind on dawn count for most of the game so beppo just gets you caught up in the dawn department so both of these cards are really good to help get you back up and ramp so that ends up our four drops so we have one five drop uh character and that is killer um he's just another form of removal that I really liked, so I and we had the room, so I might as I might as well play him. So he's just a really good form of removal. Any six K, so he's just a good natural swing on anything. Um, then to end up the characters, I have two copies of Sanji, and I have four copies of Eustace Kid. Um, Eustace Kid, I kind of consider the boss monster of the deck, just to help power up my leader. Uh, every turn, which is really, really nice. And it's an 8K swing, so that makes it really good as well. Sanji, on the other hand, he was the last two cards of the deck. Um, it was either him or Luffy, and I really don't think that we're going to be getting to 10 Dawn active very often. So I felt like Sanji was going to be uh, more useful to us, as well as he's a 1K counter as well. So at the very worst, he gives us counter in the deck when we don't have a lot of cards that have counter on them. All right, so that ends up the characters. And then next, we have eight event cards. The first of the two types is we have the Gum Gum Giant Sumo Slap. And then we have four copies of the Gum Gum Kong Gatling. Um, Gum Gum Giant Sumo Slap is just a 2K counter. That's really nice to have. And it can KO a cheat blocker as well, which is really nice. Um, Gum Gum Kong Gatling is really nice because it KOs a lot of things on the board. 
and it's an extra form of removal, which is really nice. And with, uh, powered up with Jinbei, you can get anything that's 9k or lower. So having that ability to uh, get rid of a really big threat on the board is super nice when Law can't do it. And then we cut. I'm going to do this. Spread them out all nice. Three, two, one. All right, guys, and that is me building a competitive deck. Cut. Three, two, one. All right, guys, thank you for watching this deck profile slash box opening that we had of the newest structure deck. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you are enjoying a lot of the videos that are coming out or are excited for more videos about One Piece, please subscribe. Cut. Three, two, one. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope that you enjoyed this box opening and deck building. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. And if you didn't, please uh, leave in the comments what you think that we can do to improve the content on this uh, channel. So anyways, guys, this is it from Toxic Stall Gaming. I hope that you have a wonderful evening. Cut. Three, two, one. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Cut. Three, two, one. All right, guys, that is the end of our box opening and deck building. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, please leave a comment and give us some comments on what to do better. Cut. Three, two, one. All right, guys, and that is all we have today for our deck building and box opening of the newest structure deck to come out for the One Piece card game. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and if you enjoy all of our videos, please subscribe. I hope that you all have a wonderful day, and this has been Toxic Stall Gaming, and have a good day.